All right, guys, moving on to underneath the cab. This is really the last part of this whole truck that needs any welding and repair, but we saved it for last because it really does stink, to be honest with you. You're welding, laying down on your back and all, but here's the cab supports. This is the brand new Interrocker, obviously. Um, you see, previously, in order to get the other Interrocker off, they were cut there, but that they were already uh, so rotted, it's not like they were really doing anything um like they all are and then right here can't really move um you see that rest hole there and what you're looking at right there that's actually that repair panel inside the cab that cab quarter so that is also a hole for the next little bit this is the last little t ton of miserable job uh we'll call it miserable but not one of the best jobs and then I'll show you the other side. Same thing with the driver's side here. Got to connect these ports here. Fix and fix this. So it's pretty much the same on both sides. They're just as rotted as each other. Um, but that's this is definitely part of it. Each one, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you have to replace the cab corners and rockers, really the chances are that these are also rotted off too. So really they're probably the first to get it so yeah guys i'll show you guys what they look like hopefully some of the process and what they look like when we're done with them because i've gotten some requests about this so uh thanks for watching all right guys update for you now on the um cap supports underneath uh so a lot was done i'm going to show you some pictures of before these pieces were welded on and installed so you could kind of see what we did these were cut off galvanized sheet steel um that we had so just look at those pictures so uh as you can see obviously after that we took them welded them on um we drew outlines before we cut them so we could be pretty accurate with them see this piece here this would had to go it's interesting i think i showed you before the inner rocker that they sell you does not go all the way to here and obviously that was all routed off too so we kind of had to make our own piece for the inner rocker there um these are factory holes or not factory well they they, are, they were factory technically that also come on the inner rocker for like uh, steps i i'm assuming but obviously I, I don't want any moisture or water getting into these rockers again so patch these up with some square pieces so patch both of those holes there. There's another right here. Um, I'm guessing it was for a step, but definitely I, I recommend patching those. Uh, so welded those pieces on. Now for the supports here, um, as you can see, really it, it takes your own kind of bending and messing around with it uh, after they're cut to make it close to this factory shape you're not going to make it perfect unless i don't know I, I really don't think they sell these online correct me if i'm wrong um but yeah this one's really not that bad at all and really something to really take into consideration is that uh these are all getting seam sealed and uh heavily undercoated so you'll see it was done but um really won't be too obvious but it's all prettied up and everything sprayed uh, but this is really this this is what you have to do there's no pretty way around this when it comes to the rust repair on the outside it is this is what it is uh but it allows you to have your cap support back and i mean yeah you'll be good to go so this is if these cap supports are rusted this is also i will tell you right now it's also rusted so this was pretty rusty all the way i mean to here it was it got a little better but there were already some there were some little holes on the side so Welded it from the top here, uh, down. Again, hammered it and all to the shape of the factory one. So, looks pretty good. I mean, honestly, this this one came out really nice, uh, in my opinion. Welded that in. So yeah, really, really coming along with these. This one, you know, I'm not gonna hide it from you. This one had a little bit of an accident. Um, yeah. Anyways. As I said, they're not all going to be pretty. If you go to this side, this is the hole. This is the hole I was talking about that you have to patch that comes with it. I don't know, it's for a step. So you just move them. 
and then there's a hole here. So that's what I was talking about. And here, that's the big hole that the inner rocker just still doesn't cover when you buy a new one. So that's basically all what I just what I just showed you. What I patched, what we patched. And here's the cab supports again. See, here's the here's the before that one. So. Yeah, guys, we're gonna keep going away at it. For this side, as you can see, this piece was rusted, had that patch in the inside as well, but yeah. Still working on it. Good bit more work to go, but this is the hardest part. We're trying to get it over with, so yep, stay tuned. All right, guys, continuing on to the cab support um, repairs here. Finally made it to the driver's side, and this was by no means any easier. I think I showed you in the beginning of this whole series that the driver's side was the most rusted out out of the whole truck. I mean, the passenger side, really, if it would, you would have had to really look at it to tell that the ca that it was rusting out. The driver's side, the cab corner was like rotted up to the lower body line. Um, the outer rockers were literally not present. Yeah, so underneath here was also a lot worse. As you can see, for this support here, it got really hard. This is out. This is this is two pieces here. Ignore the welds. All this is gonna get ground down and everything, but the stuff's on. And you see, it was rotten, really close to being rotten underneath this mount. And at that point, you gotta pull the cab. Looks like we just about made it here. Um, had to do two pieces to get that in to fit it in. Here's the second one. So that was a lot harder, but. Just give you guys a good look at what we did in case you gotta do something like that. So, yeah. Again, we patched this uh, hole that comes factory in the inner rocker. Just don't want any holes in it at all. Um, use the normal supports that we made up, same as the other side. So, that went on, that went on. Those actually came out pretty nice and clean. Moving on to, sorry, moving on to here. Uh, these again, more holes that came into in the inner rocker when we bought, when we, when you buy them, they have these weird like step holes in them. Uh, so yeah, that's another patch for that. Another little one there. And then here, again, that's where the inner rocker stops. Uh, when you buy a rust repair inner rocker, that's where it stops. So got to make, had to make our own piece because obviously that was still rotten all the way through there. Uh. So I had to make our own piece for that and uh, weld it on. So definitely a lot, a lot of work underneath. And if you're wondering what's the worst part, this is 100% by far the worst part of it. Time consuming, annoying, just, yeah, really not fun, painful. but painful, but you gotta, you gotta get it, gotta get it over with in order to, you have to do this in order to say you actually have like a rust repaired, rust free truck. This is the only way to get through it. Or else, I mean, you could do the you could do the outside stuff, but underneath it's the same thing. So, yeah, guys, finally got through this. Gonna grind all these welds, undercoat the crud out of it, and uh, move on to. Well, gotta spray the chassis. So I'll show you that. So yeah, now we're gonna moving on to actually spraying the frame of it. We've got plenty of gloss black that we're gonna spray on this. We don't do underco on the frames anymore. It's just really not worth it. it never seemed worth it. It's the same thing as paint, to be honest with you. It's just rubberized. And every time you work on the truck, the rubber gets all over your hands and it doesn't look that great. So gloss black looks great. Um, it shines, it's smooth, and also kind of protects it from rust. Um, so yeah, gonna be doing the whole frame, the leaves, all that. And we finally got paint in for the bed. So that's going to get completely painted as well. So next video should be just straight painting. I mean, that's really what it should be. We've had this bed ready here. Cap corners are ready to be painted. The frame is getting ready to be painted. So that's all ready now. It's going to paint it. And the very last thing is fitting up that fuel tank. So yeah, guys, it's really, it's coming along. We find this was the dreaded part that, if you're wondering why there's been a delay in videos, it was just doing the underneath of that, but finally, finally moving again, hopefully. So thanks for watching this uh, video. Uh, comment if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, see you next with uh, painting this.